ghetto to ghetto the backyard the yard all right let's do this that was pathetic that last game dude i can't i don't know what the freak's going on man i can't every time i'd like score or something it's only like a little bit of points but then if i do something wrong I, pretty much all my points are taken away Freaking bunch of crap. Come on. And we get a glimpse of the beautiful light shining down on Quincy Market in downtown Boston. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg. Let's go, you're up. And Boston has possession. They trail by one. A tough loss coming against New York in their last game played. And I think the sort of issues they had on defense, in part at least, was a bigger factor. Really compounded, I think, because wow. he was on the road. You, you have to be sharper when you go out and play as a visitor. Yeah, everything has to be tight. You can't be loose of your game. You're fighting against the crowd and the opponent. All right. You've got to be tougher mentally and physically if you're going to win on the road. Taking a look at the Nuggets, Chandler and Fareed are at the forward spots. Lawson and Aflalo are the one and two. And it's Hickson in at the five down low. Back to Aflalo. Six to shoot. The Nuggets need to get a shot off here. No good for that. Well, they'll give him that shot. He doesn't have the most reliable jump shot in the world. We know that. Well, kind of an interesting paradox for Jeff Green. He's much better offensively playing at the power forward spot as a spread four, but defensively, he's much better guarding threes. Boston making some changes. Brandon Bass is checked in for Vitor Favarani. Turner comes in for Green. And Smart subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Big group substitution here for Denver. Moskov, he's checked in for Hickson. Alinari comes in for Fareed. Randy Foy, he's checked in for Aaron Aflala. And Nate Robinson is subbed in. Ah! And Jeff Green, not a big rebounder. Struggles uh, guarding in the low block. What do you think Clark is his best position? You know, it's hard for me to say, Kevin. I think he's probably just a three slash four. I think at the four, he has a little bit more of a quickness advantage. Um, so I would probably look to playing him at that position. His touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. Robinson with it. Out guarded by Smart. And that is good. Robinson's got his first basket. Late reaction from the defense, and he's always going to make good on that. And here's Smart, averaging eight points a game. Left side, Bradley. He feeds it to Smart, shoots a three. Mozgov grabs the board. The Nuggets trail by three. 52 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Money passes to Robinson. Here's Money. Shoots it up. And again, it's nice. Robinson. Robinson's got his second go. bucket of the game to go. That's a nice play there. The more contributors this team can get, the better. Now here's Smart. Not a lot of room. They set the pick. The dish to Turner. Smart kicks to Bradley. And it's yeah. That's a bad miss right there. I mean, you'd like to see him be a little more assertive when he has such good position. Outside Robinson. From the corner. And the release was before. Uh, but it's off target. All right. Now I at least have a high C plus right now. By now, if with my power forward guy, I would probably have an A by now. <laughs> So far, it's been a but this guy's different. Out on the floor for the Celtics, and the Nuggets with some changes. The Nuggets leading by three. 
Smart and Bradley the guards. Brandon Bass is out there with Jared Sullinger. And it's Turner in at the three slot. That's the Boston Five. Robinson drives in, and he gets it to go. Yeah. Robinson's got his third basket of the night right there. You know, he was smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. Agreed. As long as he picks his spots, his outside shot will be hard to block, no matter who's on it. Yeah. Golinari with a screen for Robinson. Passes it to Money. Releases from 15. Oh, come on, man. My guy can't make anything. You know, Boston has shown their team is not afraid to make a deal with one of their stars. They think it's going to benefit the team. And quite often, those deals are uh. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. Foy up top, guarded by Brent. Money passes to Foy. Here's Money, guarded by Brent. Five to shoot. From the yes. And the Nuggets lead by four. Yeah, I got a B. I'm going to be range. Yeah. They're not really closing out on them as much as they should be. Yeah, look at the number six of the last ten points have come by way of that jump shot, Clark. Three-pointer, and again, Boston with the triple. That's two straight quick three-pointers they've allowed. They better not make it three straight, because now all of a sudden you're looking at a hot streak. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Now four. Nine points last came out. Pass to Robinson. They set the pick. Knocked loose. And now it's Bradley running. He can go all the way. Throws down. The, <laughs> the defense to start and ignite that play was terrific. And I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. And now that they have the lead, they might even want to get more aggressive defensively. Really attacking. Oh, almost. <clears throat> and we're through two here in a good one. Celtics lead by one. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. Okay, guys, let's focus and get down to business. Now, here's a few things I took away from the first half. Continue to have smart possessions. Let's keep the turnovers to a minimum. That was a big boost to our offense. One thing I liked, our passing, getting a lot of assists. Unselfish passing can get us into a nice rhythm, and that's how we get ourselves on a run. What we need to do is get to the basket. Let's not settle for stuff outside right now. Let's see how many layups we can coax out of them. We know we can take their best punches and hang with them. Now it's time to hit them with everything we got and see how they handle it. All right. Now both sides have assessed what they... All right, you're up. Oh, yeah. Zen for Avery Bradley. Here's Lawson. Ten points for him. Taking a look at the Nuggets. Aflalo and Chandler are on the wing. Kenneth Fareed is out there with Hickson. And it's nice awesome. and it's the point guard position. Solid on the one hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, you got, you got that right, Kevin. He's such a reliable finisher. Marcus Thornton on the wing. Pass to Favarani. Clock is at three. Go, go, go. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Well, gentlemen, Kelly Olynyk grew up in a basketball family. His father was the head coach at the University of Toronto. Kelly said, "Great." There we go. Which was unbelievable. He loved the game so much, and he had so much <laughs> knowledge and experience. It really made me want to succeed in the game, guys. Great skill. Uh, ah. Right Thanks, Dang it. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Brandon Bass is checked in for Wallace. Turner comes in for Green. And Smart subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Thornton dishes to Smart. Six to shoot. There's the triple. And Thornton with the basket on the assist from Smart. Thornton's got the game tied up here for Boston. 
That's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. And Thornton, a 6'4 guard, but you'll never confuse him for a point guard. A volume shooter, and the moment he takes the floor, he's looking to put points up in a hurry, and he can do just that. Here's Money, Turner covering. And here's Gallinari outside. Oh, nice. He's got his second bucket of the night. Right back at you. They immediately get those three points back. Trading punches. That's how you answer. And Thornton, a streaky shooter from long range, but never shy from out there. I mean, for his career, almost half of his shot attempts have come from three-point territory. There's 49 seconds left in the third quarter. Fareed. Oh, yeah. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Fareed's got the lead up to five now for the Nuggets. Boston's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. And you could accuse Marcus Thornton of tunnel vision offensively. But one thing you like, he doesn't turn the ball over. And for a size, Kevin, he's a really crafty finisher around the rim. I like to focus on what guys do. He's a scorer. He takes good care of the ball. There's nice step. Gallinari just freaking pushed him over. For Boston, Damn son. From the free throw line. Yeah, it's been an average year at the line for them uh, so far this year, shooting about 75%. And, you know, you don't have to tell them what their free throw numbers are. Right. I mean, they're well aware of it, believe me. Jared Sollinger's checked in for Vitor Favarano. And a switcher also for Denton. Mozgov's checked in. The pass to going up. There's a good screen. Mozgov kicks to four. Off target from three-point range. And here comes Smart. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Here's Thornton. The jumper from the free throw. Wow. Good. Of course. Right at the end. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. So we see Boston get the win here. Oh, come on, man. Keep losing. What's up with the Denver team? What the freak? And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Kevin, thank you. Gerald, how important is this win, knowing that earlier in the season, they were the team that won the matchup last time around? Still poor. Really? Of course they do that. Sure. No contract for me. Hey, boss, I came as soon as the trainer told me. What's going on? I appreciate that about you. Since you've been here, you've been responsible, good teammate, hard worker, which makes this that much more difficult for me. As you know, your 10-day contract is up. Uh, you've done some good things, but we just don't see a place for you on this team moving forward. Oh, but I thought I was holding my own. Yeah, you were. But uh, this is in a league of water carriers, uh, and we need a lot more than that here. I mean, but you never even told me what I need to do. If it's more weights, if it's sprints, if it's film room. Son. I mean, whatever. The decision has been made, and who knows, maybe you'll catch on somewhere else, you know? But uh, we appreciate the contribution, and it's time we parted ways. Boo! Well, thanks for the chance. But I want you to know this. This is not the last time you heard of me. I hope not, son. And if any other GMs reach out, I'm going to tell them you handled yourself like a pro here. Good luck. All right. Thank you, sir. Well, there goes Denver. Would you please put that controller down? We've got business to discuss. Now, there's an old saying I'm fond of. Beggars can't be choosers. No, that's a cliche. And we're not beggars, so what else? Yeah, we're not beggars yet, but we both will be if you don't start bringing in some of that do-re-me, all right? Now listen, 
We've got another offer on the table, a 10-day deal. It's not with a contender, but there's another saying I'm fond of. And what's that? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I know it's not what you want, but uh, it's a chance to compete, build a highlight reel, you know, show all the GMs across the league what you can do. What do you say? Man, I say I'm tired of this couch. Let's get back to work. So, who do we have? What crap team am I going to be on? Charlotte Hornets. How we doing, Hornets? Hornets. 